What is up y'all? Welcome back to another video. We're working on the DA Integra as usual. We're gonna be uh, pulling the transmission out for the 115th time. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for this one. Woo! So we were able to tell that I had ran this. So I'm gonna kinda of show you guys. All right, all right, all right. So, like I said, pulling the transmission in the DA again. So, I'm pretty sure, realistically, this is the one, two, three. Yeah, this will be the th third time we've had the transmission out of this car uh, to go through it. Uh, nothing is broken like the other times. Uh, we are changing final drives. So. I'm going to kind of give you a quick rundown on this transmission. So this is a small shaft 90 to 91 DA USDM trans. Okay. That's what it started out as. Then we had some issues with the gear stack and it was actually cheaper and better for me to go with. I found on eBay a used set of JDM S1 gears. So it was a whole gear stack slides, everything. We put that in the transmission. Okay. So it changed the whole gear ratio, all that, but we kept the same final drive, which was 4.4. It was great. It was amazing. All that stuff. Well, then last season, we started to get a really bad second gear grind. It would not go into gear, that sort of thing. So we pulled the transmission back out last winter. And we put all new synchros. We bought a Synchrotech Master Synchro Kit, which came with carbon synchros, uh, came with new slides. Also, we went with a, um, what is it? Uh, oh, the M Factory LSD. So we put that in. As well as I found the ring gear actually had two teeth missing. So, well, I had to order a final drive and the only final drive that was available new for this transmission was a 4.9. So mind you, we're going from a 4.4 to a 4.9 and the S1 gear stack that was in this never came with that high. Like I'm pretty sure it was like a 4.1 or 4.2 that came with it because the gears are so short in that S1 gear stack. So anyways, put the order to 4.9. I've ran it the last four or five races and it is ridiculously stupid. Uh, I'm having to run around a bunch of the tracks in fifth gear because it tops out like just over like 128 miles an hour is what it tops out at. And when you're on the highway, it's just screaming. So anyways, we found a guy that had a used 4.4 final drive setup, which comes with the ring gear and the shaft. So we sourced that from a, from a guy on marketplace, super nice guy. Thank you so much. He hooked us up. Um, so yeah, we're pulling the trans out. We're going to put the 4.4 back in it. And the, like I said, the reason I couldn't put the 4.4 from before in it was because it had two teeth missing on the ring gear. So yeah. And when you change the final drive, you can't just change the, the ring gear itself, the ring gear and the shaft, uh, teeth or whatever you want to call it are machined together. Other, if you only replace one or the other, they won't mesh properly and it'll bind. So we have to replace both of those. So yeah, we're going to get this transmission out of here and go through it and I'll show you. I'm probably going to just basically fast forward to when I get the trans out and it's on the bench because I know you guys have seen a million videos on me pulling shit. So we'll fast forward to that and I will see you when it's on the bench. Oh yeah, I always forget how much of a pain in the butt that is by yourself trying to get the transmission lifted out and it fucking falls on your chest and you're just sitting there with a freaking hundred pound transmission on you. So it's a good time, but managed to get it out. We got it on the bench. Um, 
Got a whole pile of parts here that we took off. Took Had to get all that shit off to uh, get at the transmission and take it off. But, um, yeah. I'm also probably going to inspect the clutch. I do have a comp stage four on here currently. Uh, it's got about a season on it. So I just want to, I'm going to probably pull the, um, the pressure plate off and look at the disc. Make sure everything looks good. Hopefully we don't need to order one of those because they are not cheap, but that's race car life. <laughs> so we're going to tear into this. Uh, I'll show you what I have here. So I got this from the guy. So this is the, it's a used final drive, like I said, 4.4. Um, once I get the 4.9 out, I'll just kind of show you the size difference and everything and we can compare them. Be kind of interesting to see side by side. I wanted to show you guys a quick little trick for working on these things. If you have a wooden workbench, drill a hole in it. This is like a inch and three quarter roughly hole. Uh, I think the shaft is like three quarter or one inch. I think it's one inch. So like, yeah, just drill a hole. And then when you flip it over, you can see this shaft sticks outside of the case. So when you flip it over and you're working on it, the shaft goes through and then when you reassemble it, it makes it super simple because then you don't have to like put this up on pieces of wood or whatever. It's just flat on your workbench. Works out pretty good. Little, little handy trick. You know when you take a transmission apart, you know I just have this feeling every time that there's going to be something broken or wrong. And I'm going to show you guys something. This one, two slide was freaking brand new at the start of this year. And it is already clapped. Jesus Christ. So we got to replace the one, two slide about 150 bucks from synchro tech. Awesome. So it's been a couple days. Um, we two day air shipped a new uh, one, two slide from Synchro Tech. Really wasn't much of a price difference to go two day air versus ground. So, yep, got the brand new one here. Um, that's the part number that S0137 is for. Pretty much every B series transmission, I think, other than maybe GSR. GSR is a little different, but yeah, so we got that. Also, got a new uh, axle seal for the one side. I think it was the passenger side. I kind of fucked it up when I pulled the axle out. So, I got a new one of those. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tear down this gear stack and swap it on to the. Um, 4.4 final drive shaft and then after that we will take the ring gear off of here off our LSD differential and Put uh, this ring gear on the differential So I'll get that uh, stuff torn down and swapped over All right guys, so More bad news Just uh, pulled the gear stack off and found out that the new shaft is totally different than the old one. So this is the 4.9 that we had in it. This is the 4.4. Totally different. Splines everything. Um, I don't honestly know what we're going to do right now. Pretty friggin' disappointed. So, yeah. Okay, so I did some looking. So mine is for a 90 to 91. This one, the new one, is for a 92 and up. So yeah, it's made for the, the bigger shaft um, cable and hydro, I believe. I think they're all probably the same, but yeah, it's the shaft length is even different. Uh, the new one is way taller. You can see there's probably a two to three mil difference. This one's way higher than that one. So that's one of the differences between the 92 and up versus the 90 to 91. So, and then this spline is really wide. This one's really narrow. It's just totally, totally different. So it's next day. Got a fucking haircut. Looking snazzy. Did cut the mullet off, but it'll be back at some point. A little update here, 
Uh, I do have a spare trans. Um, needs some help, I think. It's got, got some issues with it. Uh, but hopefully the ring gear and the shaft will be okay, or the final drive. We're gonna steal it out of this one. I believe it is a 4.4 in our spare. Fingers crossed, it's the right shaft. Nothing's damaged. <sighs> please, please. It is a 66 tooth. The guy I got it from did write that on there. I did count and verify. Uh, the shaft, I believe, is the same. It's the old style, like what I got. Um, yeah, the reason we're not using this one is it, it needs help. It needs, it would need a rebuild kit, and mine was just rebuilt. It just needed the final drive set up and the one to slide. So we're not gonna worry about this one. It's just gonna turn out to be probably a parts one. Maybe I'll throw the 4.9 final in this one and eventually maybe rebuild it just so I have a complete spare. If I needed to quick change it out, I have that option. But otherwise it'll probably just be the parts one. So I'm gonna probably call it a day. Um, it is 4th of July weekend coming up here tomorrow. So yeah, I'm gonna throw the case half back together. And once we get back uh, from vacation, We'll uh, pull the gears off and fingers crossed, I'm pretty sure they are the same. Um, we'll get everything swapped over into the other case. So by the time you guys see this, 4th of July will already be over and I hope you had a good holiday. What's up y'all? It's been uh, about four days now. It is 4th of July, so happy 4th of July. We're out here, we uh, got the smoker going. Got a... Uh, eight pound um pork butt in there we're doing some pulled pork so that should be done later this afternoon i got up at 3 a.m to get that bad boy going uh got olivia's family coming over a little later uh we're gonna do a little cookout with that and should be a good time got the easy up set up um so it's early out right now yeah it's probably like 10 9 30 ish um we are tearing apart our spare transmission i want to get this thing tore down um and the gears switched over onto the new final drive and maybe start kind of somewhat assembling um, our good trans. So yeah, I'm just tearing this down right now. I uh, got the shift mechanism here out. I got the speedo out, got the reverse gear out. Uh, just about to pull the gear stack out. So we're gonna do that. Um, and then I can pull the, pull the differential out and get the ring gear off this as well. So we'll, uh, we'll keep her rolling. Both of the uh, shafts are side by side here. I'm gonna show you guys the differences. So this is the 4.9 final. The It's a 14 tooth. You can see how much smaller it is. Just a one tooth difference. Let's see if I can do a top down view. Pretty big difference here. And this is a 15 tooth. So this is the 4.4, that's the 4.9. Um, and then I have the ring gear off as well. I took that off the diff um, Didn't have to do anything with this gear stack But got the shaft all cleaned up if you take it apart make sure you shoot a ton of brake clean inside this end here and it'll shoot out all these little let's see here. There's a hole there hole there They're all over the place on this. They'll shoot it out and clean all the, the holes, holes out. That's how it lubricates everything from the inside. So make sure you clean those out real good. All right, so we have our LSD here. This is the M Factory LSD. This is the stage one. They only make either regular or stage one. The stage one is their more aggressive high performance one, or they call it the 1A technically, not stage one, but um, we're gonna be swapping this over to it. So. I'm gonna show you the, all the difference. So this was the 66 tooth 4.4 that we're gonna be installing. The 69 tooth 4.9, it is considerably larger. So yeah, the 4.9 final is 69 teeth. The 4.4 is 66. Holy shit guys, that was a good fourth. We had some awesome food today. Uh, I kind of took a break on 
the transmission stuff this afternoon. It was so freaking hot. It's nine o'clock right now and it's still 90 degrees out. I'm like sweating my ass off out here. Um, I pretty much got the full, oh, I shouldn't say pretty much. I got the whole gear stack together in our, our good trans that's going in the car. I just test fit the cover. Everything fits well. So um, I'm just gonna put it away for the night and uh, probably maybe depending on how hot it is tomorrow, come back out here. I gotta work tomorrow. So unfortunately it's probably gonna be super hot by the time I get out here. So I don't know, I got uh, about two weeks yet before the next race so yeah back again the next day about to throw down our Honda bond on the case so we'll get that laid down and I'll kind of show you what that looks like once I uh, get it all applied okay so use about a use about a quarter tube on here there's still a lot left so I'm gonna try and slide the case down on um, Gotta make sure I get that circlip uh, down around here. So, shouldn't be too big deal. So I ended up having to tear it back apart. I had to wipe all the Honda Bond I just did. For some odd reason it was reason it was binding, and I'm pretty sure it's something to do with this, because if I move this at all just a little bit, it you can't rotate the gear set at all. And I can't get this shift fork to really move all the way, so I don't have this slides binding. I might have to take this gear stack apart, and there might be something wedged in there. I don't know if there's a piece of something stuck, but I cannot move this slide at all. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna tear it back apart and inspect this gear stack here. This isn't the one we took apart. We took apart the um, counter shaft. So now I gotta uh, tear apart the input shaft and see what's going on. I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight. It's freaking hotter than hell out here again. It's 90 degrees, sweating my ass off. So I might just wait till tomorrow. I'm kind of frustrated. It's one of those things that you gotta work on it when you're not frustrated, otherwise you could miss something or whatever. So I'll probably come back to it tomorrow. So see you guys then. So I started tearing it down. I told you we were getting some binding here. Come to find out, this is the one that was in there. This synchro was broken. You see his spot chipped there, there. Uh, broke the little ring that goes on here and it was all wedged in here and jammed up. So I don't know what happened. So what I ended up doing was replacing, not the gear, this gear was off my spare trans, but I took the parts from my spare trans and I swapped it and now everything rotates and spins real nice and easy so hopefully fingers crossed and i can finally throw honda bond back on the case have again and bolt her back together remember when i said uh, i could finally throw honda bond on the case and put it back together yeah i was wrong found another synchro with damage here this is the one on like the first second gear slide at the bottom so it's been a few days and I end up getting a brand new one from synchro tech it's a carbon synchro again so yeah can finally put this gear stack back together and know that everything in it is good yeah unfortunately this one is uh, if I can get it to focus here it's pretty beat up it's not supposed to have that little ledge there so We'll, uh, we'll get this one thrown in. Holy cow. It has been, I want to say, three weeks now since we originally pulled this transmission. We finally got it all back together, all sealed up. I had to put a new uh, right side uh, axle seal in it because uh, we had a little bit of a leak. So yeah, I got all that stuff finally all buttoned up. We have no binding. Shifts through all the gears, perfect. We may or may not attempt to put it in today. I just got off work and it's another scorcher out, freaking 90 plus degrees, so it's hot. Um, worst case scenario, I might wait till uh, the weekend and get up early and do it because man, working in this heat sucks. 
So we'll see what I accomplish. Maybe something today, maybe not. I don't know. Oh my God, boys, we did her. We got that transmission in the car. Uh, it's not totally buttoned up yet. I got all the bell housing bolts in, except for one. Uh, but yeah, we'll worry about that tomorrow. I'll finish buttoning the rest of it up. Then I just wanted to get this thing bolted in. Got her all bolted up here. She's looking good. I gotta go through and, and check all of them after uh, after I get the last last one in that's on the bottom side there. But yeah, kind of a bitch by myself, but I did get it after about an hour and a half of struggling. So yeah, thank God it's in, it's bolted in. I can finish the rest of the wiring stuff and put the uh, suspension components back in another day. Main goal, get it in. We got her done. Hell yeah. Woohoo! All right, guys, so Luke and I knocked this thing out after work here. Um, we got everything taken care of. Uh, we got all the wiring. We got bell housing bolts, oil lines, uh, shift linkage. Got the suspension back together. It's... Uh, Pretty much ready to go. We are doing one last thing here. We have to uh, get Honda to hooked up to it and uh, change the settings for the boost by gear from 4.9 final drive to 4.4. We did have two tunes in there because when I had him tune it, um, I had him tune it originally on a 4.4 and then he sent me later on a 4.9 tune for it. So we just gotta switch back to the 4.4 uh, and we should be uh, ready to start her up and yeah. See how she goes. So we got the tune reflashed on here. Luke's gonna hop in and start her up and hopefully uh, we don't hear any noises. No check engine lights or anything? Okay. No? We're good there, hell yeah. Oh yeah, so now we'll just go through and make sure we don't have any leaks. We should be ready to rock. We are cleaning the car up. It's filthy. It's been sitting on jack stands for the last month now. It's just grimy, gross. Gotta get the dust off it, so got uh, Valve cover all taped off there because I'm going to clean the engine bay. If I don't tape that off, water always ends up down in the spark plug holes. So, yeah, going to spray everything down, get her nice and sudsy, <laughs> get her washed down. And I don't know, I did take it for a drive. I didn't film any of it. She was ripping. Definitely a lot better with that final drive. I could uh, get to... Uh, about 120 miles an hour in Mexico, not in the U.S. We don't do that. I was able to get get her up to about 120, uh, and still had another probably 4,000 RPMs to go. So she, oh, I shouldn't say it, probably 3,500. So yeah, she'll probably do 145, 150, something like that. We would never do such a thing though, especially not in the U.S. <laughs> so we're getting her all cleaned up. Just uh. Glad we got a nice day. It's not 95 today, but it's still 88. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get her cleaned up. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll catch you guys on the next one or something. We do have a race coming up next weekend. So I'd just like to thank uh, JM Pressure Washing, Full Bore Enterprises, American Auto Body, GMJ Automotive, and Wanderlust Black Hills Tours. You're going to see this... Uh, girl ripping next week in our next video so if you guys could please like and subscribe hit that bell for notifications if you could maybe comment down below what would you guys like to see i could do specific videos on just about anything so would uh would be cool so catch you on the next one y'all later